Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is gonna be exciting. As you can see behind us, we have built many, many things in this Minecraft world. And I wanted to do a video today discussing about how to get some building ideas. So we're gonna go over so many different builds that I've made in this world and hopefully give you guys some inspiration. So today might be edited a little bit differently. I want this video to be a little bit of a faster one. So here are 50 building ideas for your Minecraft world. Let's start off over here on top of the hill. How about a sunflower patch? If you need to spice up your area, add a little bit more color, a sunflower patch is always a great way to do so. How about a bench? Very easy to make, just some slabs and some trap doors. You could always make some custom trees as well. These are a great way to spice up your area. How about a Minecraft plane? This is from a post on Reddit that I found years and years and years ago. I have no idea where that is nowadays. Maybe if you type in plane, you'll find it, but uh, yeah, this is a lovely little build for a nice flat area like this top of the hill. What Minecraft world is complete without a windmill? This was one of the very first things I built over in this area, and uh, it's very nice. How about a run down shed? Maybe if you have an old build or something that you don't visit anymore, you could do what I did here, which is break apart little pieces, add some slabs, add some stairs in there, and make it look run down like you don't visit this place anymore. This is one of our more recent builds, but I absolutely love this thing. How about a river in your world? Go ahead, grab a bunch of coral and a bunch of blocks and just spice up a river that you live nearby. Here's some great inspiration for some foliage in your Minecraft world. This is a cattail. Just use some green stained glass panes and add some sea pickles on top and you get a really nice look as well. You can also use brown candles for this piece if you want that brown texture at the top. And adding on to the foliage, you can always make a waterfall. Again, with the theme of foliage, how about a giant oak tree? This is one thing I absolutely love to make in Minecraft and highly recommend it. Maybe you can make a nice sniffer farm. I have this kind of little pasture right here, simulating as if they were cows or something surrounded by a stone wall. I think it looks really nice. It also helps you use some darker color blocks at the bottom. You can see this kind of gradient that we've done here. How about a wooden fence to contain your animals? This was one of the very first things I built in this area. And you can see we use strip logs and regular spruce logs to uh, make this kind of wooden fence with some fence posts on top. Let's climb up here to this little tree balcony. You can always make a platform on top of a really tall tree with a bridge to get a better view of your area. You can see how we've done that by adding slabs at the top with fence posts and some trap doors along the bottom. Here's another bridge for you. This is in a smaller location. You can see I used trap doors and signs. Using string on top of bamboo makes these really cool short plants. And then along the beach here, this is a great way to add some spice to your beach. Make some tiki torches out of fence posts and some lanterns. This is a bit of a weird one. We're still working on it, but how about an autumn colored bush? You can see I used wool and glass panes of different orange and yellows and reds here around some leaves and tried to make an autumn looking bush. This is one of my favorite techniques. How about using buttons and stone pressure plates to make a pathway? Granted, they are very annoying when you walk over them. More trees. How about one that doesn't have any leaves on it? This one is dead. If you live by the beach, it's always a great idea to make a lighthouse. Maybe a broken down pathway. You can see I made this broken down path here where there's some water. It looks like an old rundown bridge. Here's a nice little four piece of ideas. We have a fishing hut here and we've got this nice dock with campfires using stripped logs at the top and then darker logs at the bottom to make it look like they are wet posts. On top of that, we have some buoys floating in the water with red wool, white wool, and a button on top. I love that right there. And then we've got a nice little crane here with a grindstone at the end to, I don't know, maybe we take in some shipments and we lift them up off of boats here. Speaking of boats, you'll know we made this in the last episode. How about you build a giant boat? Maybe a nice library for your world could suit you well. I love this build I made. I use red wool on the top here. It's got a really nice feel to it, especially with this red carpet as well. You can see we have these custom bookshelves here. We've used looms to act like empty bookshelves. And then we have chiseled bookshelves. And then we've got some barrels as well, which you can store some stuff in. It's always a good idea to have a sugarcane farm. I am always in need of paper. So maybe you should build a sugarcane farm. 
Now this one will have to require a third party program, but maybe make some custom paintings for your world. I drew this one in paint.net and it's a nice way to kind of spice up your rooms that you have in Minecraft. Back over in this area, how about you experiment with a style that you don't normally do? I tried to go for a modern ranch type build on this one. And if we take a look at closer details, this is a great way to make some framework on your buildings. You can see I've used buttons, signs, and then trap doors in a progressive order. It makes a really nice touch. Well, every Minecraft world is going to need a storage room and that's what this giant thing is up over here. You can see this is one crazy looking build and I think it looks pretty sweet. You can see this is what it looks like on the inside here. It's just a place to keep all your blocks in one location. Here's what the inside of the boat looks like. It looks pretty cool. How about using lecterns and trap doors for railings? You can see it gives off this really cool effect here of like very wide wooden posts. And maybe your build needs a water wheel. We've got quite a few water wheels and cogs. Here's another cog design that I made up. We've got copper stairs, copper blocks, a polished blackstone button, chiseled copper, and some trapdoors. Shout out to Grayson and Shovel. How about you build a giant telescope? Look at this thing. Doesn't that look pretty cool? Look at the size of that telescope. If you live by the beach like me, how about building a giant retaining wall to encapsulate your builds all on the coastline? If you're like me and you love flowers, how about a really nice garden? I absolutely love this build. It's one of my favorites. I think it's such a cool looking thing. And it's always nice to have a garden in your world. Speaking of gardens and angelic things, how about an Alay fountain? This was dedicated to when we hit 500 subscribers earlier in the year. And I really love how this turned out. This was such a fun little project to do. You can always use boats as little flower pots. You can see we've done that here and we have the flowers planted on some dirt underneath encapsulated by some trap doors and they just sit in the middle of the boat. You can always add some piping to your building by using levers and lightning rods. I feel like this is always a super cool look. And how about signs for your builds? This looks like some sort of advertisement right here with this sign hanging off of the side. We've used paintings to kind of make a picture with uh, that horse and the man there. I don't think this is one of my better builds, but if you want something interesting to build, how about a Ferris wheel? Say you live by a farm. How about you build a truck? Speaking of farms, you can always build a nice little silo for yourself. Shout out B-dubs. And that's what this building is right here. This is a nice little farmhouse for our sniffers. If you're like me and you like fantasy stuff, you could always build a giant hot air balloon. This is one of my favorite things in the world. We built the Wandering Trader Boat, which is inspired by Zelda the Wind Waker. And shout out to Aiden Braun, who is our merchant running this thing. If you have an island that has a natural shape of an animal, turn it into one. That's what we did here with this build. We made an island out of something that was shaped like a turtle. You can see we used andesite and stone to make the outline. And then we have this lovely little rock with a palm tree on here. I don't visit this too often, but man, is it a cool build. If you're ever bored in this game, how about you build an underwater tunnel? This was a very challenging project, but it's really fun to walk through here and just see all the different possibilities you could do with this. We're going to finish this one day for sure. If you have a large build, here is a cool wall design you can use. We've used stripped dark oak wood on the bottom, chiseled tough, tough bricks, and then we have our windows with some more tough up there at the top. I think it looks pretty sweet. Here's some more bookshelf ideas for you. We've used spruce trap doors on the side to make a casing for the bookshelf. And we've got these uh, cool little designs in here. Same of what we did back at the main house with the chiseled bookshelves and the looms as well as regular ones. And here's a cool variation we did where we made it into an oval. This is a great way to add trims to platforms. We've used iron bars andesite walls and fence gates. And you can see the fence gates actually offset themselves when you connect them to a wall. And of course, every Minecraft world isn't complete unless it has a castle. This is one of my favorite builds on this world. I just had to check this out with the shaders. <laughs> How cool does this look right now? Look at that thing, man. That is crazy. How about a nice little market tent for your villagers? Here's a few different ways you can make some windows. 
And you can see I use stairs and trap doors to make them like that right there. I feel like this is a pretty cool design. And you can see we made a nice bay window up here by using trap doors and full logs with glass panes connecting each other. As we fly into this area right here, you could always make a gothic castle for your spawners. And you can see as we head back here, this is actually a spawner where skeletons get pushed up and we can obviously harvest whatever resources we need from it. Not everything has to be classic and fantasy. How about you build a modern house? This was an interesting, fun little project to try out. I don't know if it's my best build, but it certainly looks interesting. You can always build a nice warehouse to keep all your tools. I really like this build because of how messy and grimy it looks in here. It looks very industrial. Maybe you could make some lifts for your minecarts like they're getting worked on. You can see this one's got all of its wheels taken off. How about a nice apartment building for your world? Maybe the villagers that you have have to live somewhere. And branching off of that, you could always start a city in your Minecraft world. It's a fun project. You could always make some sort of laboratory. Shout out to Dallas Med 65. Mine isn't nearly as impressive, but it looks very corporate and very clean. It actually extends all the way back here as well. Now, if you want to change the landscape up, you could always make some type of field. You can see I planted a whole bunch of berry bushes with some path blocks in the middle alternating between and it gives this really cool look when you line it with leaves on the side if you're like me and you love building by the ocean it's always a great idea to have an oceanside cottage this is one of my favorite builds in my world this is our greenhouse you can walk in here and you can store all of your plants out in the open and show off what kind of foliage you got so you want to make your house look more interesting. How about you just add a giant walkway around the side of it? That's what we did here. We've got all these trap doors and slabs that extend off of the side that allow us to just run around and get some different viewpoints. If you want to make your house look interesting, how about you add a glass tube connecting two areas to each other? If you own your Minecraft world, then how about you make an office? This is exactly what this space is. Make it look super interesting with paintings, a desk, all of these different ideas over here. Maybe host some of your own old tools on the wall, some maps. Pretty interesting. Here's a good chandelier design for you. Well, all the water that pools up in your world has to end up somewhere. So how about you make some drains in your walls? I've used a coal block behind this iron bar and it looks like a nice little drain that's very mysterious behind there. Sometimes in Minecraft you get absolutely overloaded with stuff. So how about you make a basement that looks like storage is a massive problem. You can see we've got cardboard boxes, barrels, chests all over the place here and it looks very very busy. Well, mining is in the name of Minecraft, so create yourself a mine. You can see we have this awesome little tunnel here. This is a pretty cool tunnel design that we made with a functioning light switch that works. I love that effect. And we have a nice little storage room. Make yourselves an auto store in your room. This is an auto storage system that sorts everything for us. So once I throw items in the actual piece here, they'll travel through. They go up the water column. They go up this column, through this tube, into this chest, and you can see all the redstone behind here, this thing does all the hard work for us. I love animals in Minecraft, and how about you make a space for your animals to stay? This particular example is a frog aquarium. We've got all these guys in here having fun, jumping around in this nice little frog environment. All right, you're in for a treat now. I don't normally do this. I'm gonna take you guys back to the old base. All right, you should be excited. I rarely ever come over here anymore. I don't even think I've ever showed this in a video. Here we are back at the old base. We've got some cool ideas I could show you. Here's another way to make some foliage. You can see we've done the peonies with the path blocks in between. Again, surrounded by leaves. It makes a really cool design, especially if you do a bunch of them like I did here. It looks awesome. You could always make a brick house for your storage. I feel like this is a pretty cool looking build. How about a simple wagon to add some more liveliness to your world? You could create yourselves a mine shaft. We have this really cool little mining area over here with this uh, 
device picking up water, not sure what it's hauling, and then a nice little wagon again with some rocks behind it. You could always build a nice fort to keep your area interesting. It just adds some more design, some different buildings, and a fort with four corners and some walls is always a good option. Now, if you're like me and you like to walk in Minecraft quite a bit, you could always make a path for yourself that runs through the woods. That is exactly what this was right here. Say that maybe you're traveling between two locations quite a bit. When I was at this base, I was always running between here and what's over there. And so I built this house to be a nice little halfway point that I could sleep at if I was ever caught out in the night. Now, if you want to add some history to your world, you could always make an abandoned castle. At least this is what that was attempted to be. I think I could build it much better now. Again, another great way to spice up your Minecraft world is always to build a nice bridge over a body of water. If you think your lake looks boring, how about you build some kayaks floating in the middle of it? You can get a better view of the castle from over here. And our last build idea, you can always build a swing with a cow on it. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers. Hopefully I gave you some inspiration and I look forward to what you guys build. Anyways, that's going to be it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.